I'm brewing a Chemex for everyone, just a simple method so we can have a look on how to make the Chemex. Chemex is from 1941, it's pretty old. So what we're doing, I'm just going to rinse the filter. The reason why we rinse the filter is to remove some of those um, chemicals. chemicals that might be inside the bleach, it bleaches the filter there. So we rinse the filter and it's very important once it is to get rid of that filter water you've just rinsed so we're just going to remove that water now okay what i need now for a chemex is i have my chemex my scales my coffee there and we have water brewing behind me it's important to use the right equipment okay for our coffee i've got 25 grams of let's say medium coarse coffee you can probably have a look at how that is all right drop that straight in there Give it a tap, make it nice and flat there for me. So that's off there. Now, where we're pouring, we're trying to get a circular motion for the first time, and we pour for about 40 grams. So about 40 grams, just till it starts in there. Give it a 40 grams. There we go. 40 grams there. That's sitting on 40 grams. It's going to let that bloom, which is like releasing the gases. It's going to let it bloom for about 30 seconds. Let's give it a bit of a stir. So it's all good there. That's okay. So while that's blooming, and it's uh, yeah, the Chemex is actually designed by a chemist from 1941. So it's pretty old. It's it's really cool the way you method, and it's a very slow, nice style of coffee. It brings out a very clear flavour. All right, we've done that blooming. Now I'm going to pour 160 grams of 160 mils of water three times. It goes, and it's there 120 there. Get up to Okay, that's there, just sit there, let that drip through. You can see it dripping nicely there. Next one. No circular motion again. We're almost done. Use a total of 400 uh, grams of water. So, a 25 gram to 400 so it's like a ratio of 1 in 16 so we've got a nice smooth ratio there and it's going to bring out a lovely flavor very simple to do that's just all it is as, as you can see and we're almost on our let's circular a little bit more should be done done that's all our water in there right, let's just give it a lift up like this just to let it run through with a more consistent have a lovely extraction on that And that is how you brew the Chemex. It only takes about two or three minutes at the maximum. This one's taken three, two and a half minutes because we were nice talking about it. So I'm just going to lift that up there. That's all done. So you can see. And we're going to give it a swirl and pour ourselves a glass of Chemex. Thank you.